Hi everyone, it's Monica from Yellow Brick DIY. Um, so if you are a regular shelf sitter of the month person, um, I am doing things a little differently this month. If this is your first time with us, typically we do just paper uh, digital instructions, a digital um, thing that you can print out at home and it walks you through. But these shelf sitters this month are a little bit different and I'm a visual learner so I just thought it'd be easier to hop on here and send you guys a video so that you can actually see how I'm putting these together. So today I'm showing you the fence and the window. They're very similar concepts so if you have either one of those kits you're going to get this link and I'm going to try to make this as quick as I possibly can. So I have everything laid out here that you get in your kit. So this example is the fence. So this is your main piece. So you're going to go ahead and paint all of this. And then it has two slats for dimension. So you'll paint those two slats and they'll get glued on like that. That's easy. And this particular one is the birdhouse. So you have this one solid piece and then the birdhouse goes over top like this. In this kit, you have two bags. I made it as easy as possible. This bag here with the larger flowers is all of the dimensional pieces here for the birdhouse. So we're gonna open this up just so that you can see exactly how this lays out. In this bag, oops, I'm dropping things. In this bag, you have the roof of the birdhouse. So that goes on like this. You have the little circle that goes over top of the opening and you'll see there's a little scored line. Try to make that circle up a little bit higher. I feel like that lines up better for the, um, when the bird like sits in front of it, you'll see in a second. This flower goes over top of this. This flower, let's see, I'm gonna spin them to line up. This flower goes over top of this. So it's kind of cool because you don't have to paint this flower. Go ahead and paint the leaves and you can go into this base part because it's gonna get covered up anyway. So you don't have to worry about painting that. And then these little flowers just go over top. So that takes care of the birdhouse pieces. And then this other bag has all of the little parts for the little bird and the flowers that go in front of that. So we'll just open this up really quick and show you how that assembles. You have the bird and he just, same deal, like you'll paint your fence, but you don't have to worry about painting the bird because the three dimensional piece will go right over top of him. And then his wing is also a little piece and that line is scored on there. The eye can just stay as is, there's a little score or you can take a little Sharpie marker or even a little bit of the brown paint and just paint that eye in, it's up to you. And then all of these flowers are cut out. So you'll just wanna make sure you line them up. They literally all line up the same. You can see, I find like two particular petals, but same deal, you'll paint this green, the stem and the leaf, and then you don't have to worry about the flower because that gets covered up. And then there's a little piece over top that can get painted another color. So these are very dimensional. It looks so cute when it's done. I know it's a lot of little pieces, but I promise it's worth it. Okay, so let me just toss those back into the bags so that I don't lose any pieces. And really what I wanted to show you with this kit is how to achieve the base that all of these inserts sit into. You're basically ending up making a box that's gonna get glued over top of the fence or the window. And I promise it's very easy. I just thought it was easier to see it visually. Okay, so let's toss all this to the side. This is the box that I'm talking about. So in that you have two pieces that look like this you have two pieces that look like this. So just remember, long and thin, that's for the fence. But the shorter, thicker ones, this is for the box. So what you're gonna do is, you really only have to paint this one piece because the rest will get covered up. So hopefully you can see this, yes you can. Okay, so you're gonna take one thicker slat and you're gonna glue it down to the bottom of your fence but you don't wanna go past this little groove here because remember that's gonna sit into your base. So make sure that you just line it up to the edge right above that slot, just like this. Then you're gonna take these two pieces
faces and you're gonna glue them right in like this, right on top of each other. Boom, boom. Then you're gonna take this piece, which is gonna be painted, and you're gonna glue that right on top of that little slot that you painted. And when you do that, see how there's a slot that you've just created? You just basically created a little box and this inside is now hollow. So when you do that, everything is glued on here. And what it does is, in the painted example on the window, it achieves this slot. And that allows for your pieces to slip right on in like this. Now I will tell you, first of all, be careful because this wood is one, in, one inch, oh my God, my brain, one eighth inch thick. There we go. And so it can snap. So just be gentle. And I like to take kind of both at the same time and slide them in. This way I'm not pushing down on anything too hard on top of the other one. But when you get them in there, they slide right in. And then the window slides right into the base or your fence slides right into the base. So really quickly, let me just walk you through the, the window. Um, but it is the same concept. The window, you have a few options. So you have one bag of all of your parts. You have your little sheet of flowers, all your parts to create that that little window pocket that I just showed you, and then your bigger flowers. So the little flowers sit here and they're dimensional, okay? So same deal, paint this little stem green. And really guys, you don't have to paint this because as you can see, it gets hidden in that little pocket. So like I would paint maybe just the edge just in case, but other than that, you don't even have to bother. And then the flowers will go, that's super easy. But for the big flowers, you have two options. The tulip is cool because it's dimensional. So you can take this and then put this little shape right there in the middle. And that gives you that cool tulip look. I really, I cannot speak today. So these are cool because you can either just paint the flower just as it is here and glue that circle right on. And it looks like this. Or guys, I mean, it's Wednesday. That's all I can say. Or you can take the dimensional part and you can like turn it like this so that it kind of looks more like a wildflower, more dimensional flower, and then glue that onto there. So you can do that on both sides, just turn it just a little bit and you have a, a completely different look. Totally up to you. Um, I kind of showed you the easy way on the example, but personally, I kind of like the, the turn to look a little bit more. And then we're just going to walk through this one more time for this base. You have this one's just slightly different because see how this one has a scored line on it and this one doesn't. You want this to be your front. It's just more dimensional. So same deal. We're going to take the piece and glue it down to our window, but leave room here for that slat. You'll see it's thinner than this. Take your two weirdly u-shaped pieces and glue them right on top of each other right along the edge here right on the bottom right on the edge and then the piece with the line through it goes right over top oh, my over paints. and then voila you have your little your little pocket so i just thought it was easier to show you this now those of you who are my shelf sitter of the month people you already have your bases you're good to go anyone new this month, you'll also find four pieces like this in your kit. This is your base. And remember, this is reusable. All of the shelf sitters slip into this base. So it's a one-time purchase and you want to make sure you glue it together. So you'll paint these two thicker pieces. You don't have to paint the bottom. Paint the piece with the slat in it and you're going to glue those together. So it'll look like this. Then you have two thinner pieces, both with slats. Paint one of them, glue it on top of your non-painted piece. You don't have to paint it, it gets hidden. And when you glue those together, you'll take that piece and you'll wanna make sure you line it up to that slat that's on that bottom. 
just like this. That's pretty important. So just make sure your glue that comes in this kit, you really have like a 15, 20 second ish time slot where this thing still wiggle around and you can still play with it a little bit before it's like really, really glued on there. Um, so you have time to wiggle it around. Just make sure that it's, it's lined up. That's important because that assures that these, um, shelf sitters fit in there nicely. So that's that. And then just super quickly, especially if anyone is new, I just wanted to show you how we paint, where's my little sponge? Um, how we paint these, a little trick. So you have these cups in the birdhouse and bike uh, fence kits. You have all paints like this. In the smaller, I'm um, sorry, in the flower kits, you have smaller little paint pods just because there's like hardly any. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's not true. This is for the other flower, the fresh flower soda. Oh my, clearly I need a nap. Okay. So you all have for these kits, the big cups of paint. So you'll just take these little makeup sponges that come in your kit. Your kit has some makeup sponges, a foam brush, and a regular paintbrush. Guys, keep this regular paintbrush. I did not skimp. I actually got good ones and they're reusable. So make sure you have a cup of water with you and then dip it in and take a paper towel and wash your colors off and you can keep using this keep it for your next kit the foam sponge you can rinse these and reuse these i probably get like four or five uses out of these personally at home as long as you rinse them before any paint dries these are good sponges too so you can use them the makeup sponges i mean i would toss those um but so you can paint anything intricate or any small details with the paintbrush, any bigger areas with the foam brush. And then for these makeup sponges, this paint, a little bit of paint goes a long way on this material. And so when you're painting, you can kind of swipe like this away from you and see how no paint gets on the edge that's nice and clean. That's because I'm swiping away from me and I'm also using a light amount of paint. One coat of paint on a light color, I mean, maybe one more coat's needed, but this paint is pretty good and you don't need too, too many coats. And then if you have any little areas like these flowers, any of the little inserts, you can also take the paint and dab. And when you do that on little surfaces, or smaller intricate things, just make sure you're dabbing nice and light and same deal. When you're dabbing with light coats, your edges get nice and clean. Okay. So that's a little trick for you guys. I just wanted to quickly go through all of this for you. I feel like it's easier to visually see that pocket just because it's so different than what we've done. And the cool thing is if you purchase a window or a fence, there's other pieces. So next month you can just order one piece. Like I have the bike, for example, you could plop out the birdhouse and you can slide the bike right into that pocket and you don't have to do the whole fence all over again. That pocket's going to be interchangeable. And then I'm, you know, already racking my brain for new um, designs that could fit in that window and fit in that fence for other months. So that is that. I won't keep you any longer. Um, thank you guys so, so much for your purchases. Please post pictures to Yellow Bricks um, page or just send it to me personally in a message. I love seeing the final products. I, I love, love, love it. It's my favorite part. So thank you guys so much. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask. Have fun. Thank you. Bye.